Something from which one wouldn't want to escape is the safety harness recommended these days for cars. It's been said that harness of this kind would save some 700 lives and prevent 50,000 injuries annually. At the British Standards Institution at Hemel Hempstead, we watched a series of tests through which most manufacturers willingly put their equipment in the cause of safety. As a demonstration, there's this machine for simulating a car stopping suddenly at only 8 miles an hour. One of the British standard tests is for the tensile strength of car and industrial seat belts. The proof, or safety load, is 3,000 pounds, and at various weights approaching this, such aspects as elongation and diminution of width are measured. Finally, for the manufacturer's benefit, the test is carried through to destruction point, with this, an average belt, snapping at a strain of 5,600 pounds a safety margin of almost 100%. In an emergency, it might be necessary to get out of the safety harness as quickly as possible. And research scientists here have set a standard for buckle release. They say that when a man's weight of 250 pounds is applied to the belt, a pressure of 45 pounds, equivalent to a light blow from the hand, should be enough to release the buckle. The whole unit is also tested, eventually to breaking point. For specifically industrial safety belts, such as those worn by window cleaners and Spider-Man, there's also a number of tests, including this one, using a 14-stone dummy dropped from a height of six feet. Thanks to these little-known backroom boys, there are today British standards for 4,000 varying articles, from ladies' underwear to giant machinery. Today, we can get value for money.